Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Also download our free Android app FinCalci to calculate income taxes and track on monthly basis. Hey what is going on everybody? Welcome to another video in which we are going to see how exactly you can reduce your tax liability and pay absolutely zero income tax. So just stick with me till the end of this video and I'll let you know the most important trick to reduce your tax liability to zero. So before going to the most important trick that you should know in the income tax calculation process, let's quickly go through the traditional ways of reducing your tax liability. So as we have seen in the budget 2018, there were no changes made in the income tax slab rates. So the slab rate for the slab 0 to rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand, there is no income tax that we are supposed to pay. That means if our income is less than rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand, we need not have to pay any income tax. But what if I tell you that even if your income is rupees 3 lakhs, you need not have to pay any tax? That is what exactly we are going to see by the end of this video. So we have the following ways of reducing our tax liability. The very first thing is provident fund. So if you are working for any organization, 12% of your basic salary goes to this employee provident fund scheme which you can claim as tax exemption from a gross taxable income. The second thing that you can invest in is public provident fund. In this scheme, you can invest a maximum of Rs. 1,50,000 in a particular financial year. The third scheme is ELSS that is equity link saving schemes. This is a special type of mutual fund that allows you to claim tax exemption from a gross taxable income. The fourth scheme is NSC that is national saving certificates. This scheme also allows you to claim tax exemption from a gross taxable income. The fifth scheme that can help you to claim tax exemption is a 5 year fixed deposits. So these are some of the traditional ways that people use in order to reduce their gross taxable income. One thing to note over here is all these schemes come under section 80C and under section 80C we have a maximum limit of Rs. 1,50,000. That means by using these schemes you can only reduce your gross taxable income by Rs. 1,50,000. Again, I would like to remind you that if your gross taxable income is less than or equal to Rs. 3 lakhs, you need not have to pay any tax. So even after using the maximum limit of Rs. 1,50,000 in the section 80C, if your gross taxable income is not less than Rs. 3 lakhs, you can use the following schemes. You can claim a maximum of Rs. 55,000 under section 80D. This can be used only when you have medical insurance for yourself and your parents. Also, you can claim a maximum of Rs. 50,000 under Section 80 CCD if you invest in NPS, that is National Pension Scheme. So try to get your gross taxable income to less than or equal to Rs. 3 lakhs. Now let's see the trick that I was talking about at the start of this video. We have a slab rate of 0% for income between Rs. 0 to Rs. 2 lakh 50,000. Then how we are not supposed to pay any tax even if our income is Rs. 3 lakhs? Now here comes the important part. We have something called as tax rebate, which reduces our tax liability by rupees 2500. So even if our income is rupees 3 lakhs, that means at the rate of 5%, we are only supposed to pay rupees 2500 as our income tax. But since we have a maximum of rupees 2500 as tax rebate, we need not have to pay any tax. So this is one of the most important trick that you should know. Get your gross taxable income to less than or equal to rupees 3 lakhs by investing in various tax deduction schemes. The important thing to note over here is, tax rebate will be applicable only when your gross taxable income is less than or equal to Rs. 3,50,000. So in case your gross taxable income is Rs. 3,50,000, your tax liability becomes equal to 5,000. After applying maximum tax rebate of Rs. 2,500, your tax liability becomes equal to 2,500. So you pay an income tax of Rs. 2,500 on gross taxable income of Rs. 3,50,000. But in case if your gross taxable income is Rs 3 lakhs, your tax liability becomes equal to Rs 2500. After applying maximum of Rs 2500 as tax rebate, your tax liability becomes equal to zero. So that is how you reduce your tax liability and pay absolutely zero income tax. So before wrapping up, I would like to introduce to you our free Android app FinCalci, which is a financial calculator app exclusively for the people of India that will help you to calculate your income taxes and track on monthly basis. Also it will help you to calculate the interest on savings accounts, fixed deposits, recurring deposits, PPF accounts, mutual funds and many other Indian savings schemes. So don't forget to download our free Android app FinCalci. The link you can see on the top right corner of this video right now. Also you can see the link in the description section. So that's it in this video, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video, stay tuned.